Zigzag is a new word game created for QQP by Castaway Software. It was announced over a year and a half ago, and I'm kind of wondering why it took so long. Bet you thought someone was hard at work rendering heart-stopping graphics for it, huh? That would have been an idea. No kidding. Zigzag is a graphical dead zone. Its visual splendor rating is right up there with Microsoft Excel. But it's a good little game. Little being the operative word here. In Zigzag, the idea is to guess the computer's mystery word, which can be anywhere from four to seven letters long. The blank boxes at the top of the screen represent the mystery word. The rows of boxes underneath represent the ten chances you have to figure out the mystery word. For each guess, you get 250 points for a letter that's in the mystery word but not in the right place, or 1,000 points for each letter that's in the right place. Let's play the simplest possible game as a demonstration. For this four-letter word, we choose E as our first choice. It gives us 250 points, so we know that E is in the word somewhere but not as the first letter. Then we try R and on the next turn S. Neither of them give us any points, so they aren't in the mystery word. Then we try T, which gives us 250 points, so T is there, but not as the last letter. If you're guessing more than one letter, you have to form a complete word. So on the next turn, we try 2. Again, we get 250 points, and this shows us that T isn't the third letter either, and O isn't in the word at all. Now we know what two of the four letters are, but not where they are. To try to figure out the missing letters, we try AM. We get 1,000 points, so one of the letters is there and in the right place. Next time, we try MA. We got 1,000 points again, and the A is in the same place, so now we know that A is the second letter of the mystery word, and M isn't there at all. We're getting there. We know that the letters T, A, and E are in the mystery word, and that A is the second letter. Now we try T-A-D, hoping that the T and A will be in the right place. They are, so we get 2,000 points. That leaves only the third letter in question, since the E is obviously the ending letter. I think the letter in question is K, so we try KID and get 250. We already know that D isn't in the word, so it's either K or I. Not exactly a tough choice. At this point, all we're doing is padding our score until the last guess. So we guess T-A-D again for 2,000 points, and on the final guess, we solve the mystery word take. In a nutshell, that's the game. You can also play the six quest games, which challenge you to move from one corner of the map to the diagonal opposite. The number of squares you jump at a time sets the length of the mystery word. Solve the mystery word, and you're closer to the end square. You can also plan your route so that you can cross the numbered squares, which are score multipliers. The quests are no big deal. They're just a slightly different way to play the same game we just finished playing. Zigzag is a good word game, but not exactly the most captivating PC game around. If you're a serious word game buff, you'll enjoy it. But if you're not, you'll put it down in no time flat. Some cool graphics, sound, or animation would have helped maintain an interest here, but only for so long. Zigzag will only appeal to a niche audience. If you're part of that niche, you'll have a lot of fun. But if you're not a diehard fan of word games, Zigzag is a momentary diversion and nothing more.